First, we learned that China is moving into what had been seen as Russia's backyard in new ways. Central Asia, Kazakhstan in particular, has long looked to Russia for security, but it no longer wants to do so because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Kazakhstan worries that the same justification that Putin used to invade Ukraine, namely protecting ethnic Russians, could be used to carve off pieces of Kazakhstan. There are 3.5 million ethnic Russians in Kazakhstan, mostly in the north near the Russian border. Kazakhstan therefore uh, sees Russia as a threat. When Xi Jinping was in Kazakhstan, he made a very public statement that China has a strong interest in Kazakhstan's territorial integrity, which is a warning to Russia. It was very interesting that Putin felt he had to kowtow or explain himself to both Xi Jinping and to Narendra Modi, the leader of India, with reference to Ukraine. China and India have both been supportive of Putin, China more so than India, but neither of the large Asian powers has condemned Russia in the United Nations, and both have bought Russian natural gas and oil at a discount because Russia can no longer sell to Europe. So broadly speaking, they've been more supportive than most other powers. Yet in their public meeting, meetings, Putin felt that he had to acknowledge China and India's concerns about the war. Narendra Modi of India said, this is not an era of war, it is an era of peace. And Putin said, I know how you feel, we talk about this often. With Xi Jinping, he said, we appreciate China's balanced stance and we will talk more about your concerns. What are the concerns of China and India? Almost certainly, when and how does this thing end? The longer it goes on, the bigger an albatross it becomes around both China and India's necks. The SCO sees this last meeting as having been largely successful. India will host the next head of states meeting in 2023. At that point, Iran will be a member and other countries, Belarus, Mongolia, uh, Azerbaijan, Armenia, uh, the Maldives, uh, Myanmar are thinking of getting in. This group keeps on growing and that is worth are paying close attention to. There are many divisions within it. It is not an anti-Western bloc, but it is an alternative that many countries are paying attention to. And the United States should be asking why so many countries over a vast region want an alternative to what we've been calling the global rules-based order.